G'day my fellow media collectors. I'm Troy and this is the comic book movie collector's guide. And of course, you know what this is? This is another episode of Let's Talk About. But what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about the trailer for Joker Folle Adieu. I think that's how you say it. Yes, so this is the reaction or my reaction trailer. <laughs> Not so much a reaction trailer, but my thoughts on the Joker 2 trailer. Now, um, I think it looks good. The The trailer looks good. They don't give away too much, but then they also show you a, you know, a decent amount of what you want to see. Um, and of course, one thing we all have heard, that it's going to be a musical. But we don't know how that's going to be incorporated in the movie. Now, it doesn't necessarily worry me to a degree that it's got musical elements in, in it um, as such. And we're not sure which way they're going to go. If it's going to be more of a, say, like a West Side Story or Grease type sort of musical where they'll be acting in story, then they pop into a song, pop, pop into a song. But like in that world singing around as opposed to say the way i think they're going to do it is because like in the first one a lot of the stuff was in his mind and how he's projecting and how he's thinking maybe those elements of where he's dreaming they're the musical elements um me personally i kind of want it to be that way i don't necessarily want to see him especially with how grounded and real life the first one was to have him just bopping into a, into a song and dance right in the middle of you know some sort of scene that's going to look corny and cheesy and just i think will ruin this film but from the trailer i do get that impression that a lot of those elements are in his head some very elaborate stage pieces where it looks like he's just in a stage and things like that so it's more him imagining these things um and because harley quinn's in it and because there's lady gaga obviously that that potentially is the route they're going to go uh which i don't have any issues with and i think this is what's going to make this one of those standout films is because it's not really it's not the norm the f first Joker is very much like, I think the reason it was so successful is because it's so different. We had, everyone goes on about the superhero fatigue, which I don't believe is the case, but it's more so that they're bringing up tired stories over and over and over again, and nothing new and original. No one's, at least studios are scared to try something original. That Joker was original, and that's why it's a success. And, but because of that success, they're like, let's do something even more original, like trying to take more risks, and they're going, let's do a bit of a musical. Ugh, could that work? Sure. Could it fail? It could fail big time. But I suppose if you don't take the risk, you don't know if you're going to have something good on your hands, and that's the problem. Movie studios nowadays are so afraid to take any risks that we miss out on so many great movies. Like, you've only got to think of back, like, I remember like the 70s and 80s, they didn't care. They just put shit out there and see what stuck. And we got so many great movies. Nowadays, it's such a business. Everyone's too afraid to try something new. Stick with tried, true, whatever else. But that gets boring after a while. People want to see new, fresh takes. And that's why the Joker was so successful. And potentially why this second one will be so successful too. Um... As far as the trailer goes, like, I love some of the shots. They're very... It's similar to the first one. I believe it's a different director this time. Um, it's very similar to the first one and the style and the vibe, but has its own feel. And I have a feeling that will be the case, especially with all the musical, musical elements and stuff. Um, Lady Gaga looks pretty good as Harley Quinn. I like the kind of... Not so much flamboyant, but more down-to-earth harlequin version that you like to that more down-to-earth joker and very much and it's not she's not um the psychiatrist looking after him she looks like she's one of the patients in there and that classic dynamic that we've had before where she idolizes him he has this power dynamic over her and treats her terrible these guys look like they're 
a like a couple, like a, a partnership. Like there is no hierarchy, you know. Like it's an interesting take on this relationship that potentially, um, kind of like uh, looking at that last scene, that last scene, that last shot in the thing where she does the lipstick on the screen and she goes, "I want to see your true self," and he does that smile, which is such a great shot. Um, maybe she's pulling this out of me. Maybe he was getting better and she's bringing him back to where, you know what I mean? Like it's, it'll be interesting to see how this dynamic works and how they go about it. Cause it just doesn't look like the classic Harley Quinn Joker dynamic that we're used to. So, um, yeah, to say I'm definitely keen for this movie. I'm really interested to see what it was like. Like I said, I really enjoyed the last one. Fresh, new, different. Hopefully this will be the same again and give us something fresh, new and different yet again. So yeah, super excited to see what this one brings. See, we don't really have a lot this year to look forward to. But yeah, this is definitely one of those ones I am looking forward to. But as you know, that's how this show works. I want to know what you think. I want to know, are you pumped for it? Could you care less? Are you just sort of on the fence? Comment below and let me know. I just want to know what you think, whether I'm wrong, I'm right, or I'm somewhere in between. I definitely want to hear it. And of course, as usual, make sure you're being nice and friendly and talking about the subject and not other rubbish. <laughs> so yeah, please, by my means, comment away and let me know what you think. I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments about Joker 2. Okay, I just want to have a quick note. This goes out to my subscribers out there. And uh, about oh, a bit over a month ago, I put the call out to help me boost my channel as things were looking a bit dire. And I'm happy to say that thanks to what you guys did on that day, when I asked you to watch a couple of extra videos, you all came to the rescue and you all pitched in and you all did it. And some of you even went above and beyond. And I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much because it worked. It bloody worked. It was only a theory I had that it would, but bugger me dead, it worked. And I am now back to like, I think from the last month where it was uh, nearly 70% down on impressions, I'm 140% better on impressions this month than I was last month. So that is nearly got me back to where I was impression wise. Views aren't quite there yet, but they've gone up. Everything has gone up and getting back to where I was before this disastrous 20th of February. So yet again, I just want to say thank you so much to all my very loyal subscribers out there, um, to all my friends, subscribers, watchers, anyone who got involved or anyone that got watched an extra video, I thank you so much because it actually worked. I really do appreciate it. So yes, we're definitely getting the channel back on track. So yet again, I just want to say thanks again. I know I just keep saying this, <laughs> but yeah, look, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. It has really helped the channel out. Oh my God, thank you so much. Hey, hey, so if you like this video and you want to see some more, why don't you click that one to see some of my reviews? Or maybe you want to see some of my collection updates. Got you covered too. Why don't you click that one there? And of course, don't forget to do the most important thing. Throw me a like. And don't forget to hit that subscription button on the way out. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.